Summary of the Cop and the Anthem by O. Henry The story The Cop and the Anthem starts when Winter comes to New York City. Soapy thinks he needs to leave his bench in Madison Square Park and get himself arrested so he can be taken to Blackwell's Island and given a warm place to sleep during the winter. Soapy's first attempt to get arrested is to go to a fancy restaurant and order a fancy meal so he can be arrested for insolvency. When a waiter sees that his pants are torn, he is kicked out before he can even sit down. When he then uses a cobblestone to break a shop window, the police officer who comes to the scene doesn't think Soapy did it. Soapy doesn't get arrested throughout the story not because he can't commit a crime, but because other people refuse to name him properly. Soapy tries to scam a restaurant again, but this time two waiters throw him out on the street. He also tries to bother a woman window shopping on the street, but when he tells her she's a prostitute, she happily accepts his advances. Soapy tries to get arrested for insulting a police officer in public but fails because the officer thinks Soapy is a drunk Yale student. Soapy then tries to steal an umbrella from a well-dressed man in a cigar store but finds out that the man stole the umbrella himself. Soapy leaves in a bad mood and ends up outside the gate of a church. Soapy hears a beautiful anthem being played in the church, and after hearing it, he decides to change his life and become a useful part of society again. But as soon as he makes this decision, a police officer pulls him over for idling, and he is sent to Blackwell's Island the next day to serve his time. About the author William Sidney Porter, better known by his pen name O. Henry, was a prolific American short story writer known for his surprise endings. In 1898, Porter was sentenced to five years in prison for embezzlement. While he was there, he wrote 14 stories under the name O. Henry so that authors wouldn't know he was in jail. When O. Henry got out of prison in 1901, he went to New York City. This was the start of his most productive time, and he wrote about 381 short stories between 1902 and 1910, when he died. Readers loved O. Henry's work for its wit and unexpected turns, but it was also often realistic and focused on everyday people like homeless men, police officers, and waiters. The title of his second book of short stories, The Four Million, says a lot about his whole body of work. In response to New York Society man Ward McAllister's claim that there are only 400 people in New York City who are really worth noticing, O. Henry claimed that every person in New York City mattered to him and that he wrote his stories for the many people who lived there. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.